This body of work is very personal to me because of my parents. My parents are no longer here. Both of my parents um, have transitioned. And I think about them a lot. I think about John Lewis a lot. I think about that generation where they were the ones that fought for the civil rights, for human rights for us, and we still experience the same thing. And so with Stone Mountain, that mountain is so, is very iconic with the symbolism of white supremacy. And I wanted to take a look at that through the landscape and talk about it through the landscape. I'm a daughter of a soldier. I grew up traveling across the country and out of the country. And for me to come to Atlanta in 2000 in the South, I, it was like a shock to me. And so I think this is where I started developing my work around identity. I think as a photographer and living in the South and working in the South, I look at when I first came here how especially in Atlanta, you have a lot of um, African Americans here. And they are mobile, they have a lot going on, but still this is the home of the Civil Rights Movement. And we still have this black and white issue here based on ideologies. It's a beautiful park. You could do hiking, you could walking, you could fish. It's a beautiful park. But within that park, that symbolism of white supremacy, the Confederacy, is very disturbing. And for me to walk through the park is like something that I have to deal with. So it's very, very personal to me, and I wanted to make it look beautiful. And I started reading about W.E.D. Du Bois who was a professor at the Atlanta Universities back in, in the 1920s, I believe 1930s. I read an essay, Invisible Empire, and he talked about how Georgia was so beautiful but was so disturbing. And with that, that gave me the concept of making it look beautiful. I want to engage the viewer to see how beautiful this park is, but also how it's rooted in the symbolism of the Confederacy, and how maybe I, as an artist, can open up a door, which I call a brave space, where we can all come together and talk about this. It'll be one step to do this. Polaroids have a different effect versus these digital cameras that we're working with now. And I'm shooting with a Leica and everything is so sharp. And so I felt by going up to the mountain and photographing the Polaroids will inform me of how to shoot and feel. And with the Polaroids, the awakening with me was that how beautiful the Polaroids are because it really speaks to the title of the work, Invisible Empire. My mother always say, even though we deal with the trauma, it's a beautiful struggle, because we are resilient type of people and we will overcome, but we know that we, we deal with it. When we're born, we're born into a movement, whether we realize it or not. It is in us.